Good morning, my name is Bailey. I'm a second year third grade teacher in Florida and this is a week in my life. Hey guys, so I am just popping in real quick to share with you the sponsor of today's video, which is VacLife. VacLife is a professional brand that you can find on Amazon and they also have their own website that specializes in home and automotive appliances. So they have all kinds of different products that you can use your home and your office and your car. And the product that I'm sharing with you today is their handheld vacuum cleaner. I am so excited about this because I think it is something that so many teachers can use in their life inside of their classrooms. So it is a cordless vacuum. It comes with the plug and the little thing to put into the vacuum and you charge it and then once it's fully charged, which you'll know from the little green light that pops up, it is completely cordless and you can use it wherever, however long you need. I think this is a perfect purchase for the classroom because as you know, kids can be super messy, and so my favorite thing to do is have one of my students, their class job is to be our floor monitor, and so they're allowed to go around with the vacuum and vacuum up any messes that may have happened throughout the day, and y'all, that might sound like a terrible job, but the kids are obsessed. They love when they get to be the floor monitor and use the vacuum, and it works super well. With your purchase of the VacLife handheld vacuum, you will get a couple attachments. You will get this one that just inserts like this and then you will also get this one that has a little brush on the end which is really cool and then it also comes with this tiny tool as well if you really need to get in there um, to clean inside of the manual it tells you exactly how to keep your filter super clean so that your back life will last as long as possible and then once this initial filter does get too dirty they did put in an extra filter in the box as well so at the end of the day i am going to show you guys what our floor looks like i'm not going to let any of the kids use it today which they'll be a little upset but i will show you guys what our floor looks like and the power of this amazing vacuum Okay, y'all, so here is my little demo of using the VacLife vacuum. I stepped on some popcorn on the floor to make this mess, and look how powerful it is. Like, it's insane, and if y'all want to get some dollars off, you can use the code BAILEYSAVE15 to get 15% off your order. Okay, good morning, y'all. It is... I forgot the day. <laughs> it's Monday. It's Valentine's Day. It's like 35 degrees outside, which is like, for Florida, no not right something's wrong i have bags because we're gonna do a little like exchange but i brought bags in case my kids didn't bring bags because i didn't tell them to i didn't think about it until like this weekend so i brought bags for all of them and then i also have a bunch of gun guns just to refill like my candy box if i like give candy to ones that are doing well or for the treasure box or whatever. So I did that because we went to Sam's yesterday and I've been needing some more candy for my little stash. So I also ordered these on Amazon. They're calming fluorescent light filters. This is my outfit though. This sweater is like from a local boutique. So I'm sorry, I don't have a link for it. I think the brand's like mustard seed or something like that. I don't know. And then my pants are these like light pink ones from Gap. Um, I also haven't been able to find the correct link for these either. I got them last year, but they're from like only Veer Gap. I'm sure you can find similar ones. Here is the before with all of the lights on, all like all full brightness before the filters. This is what it looks like with them. I don't know if y'all can tell a difference, but you definitely can in the room. And then I'm gonna try turning off like one of them. And I really like this. So this one is like the main one. Like if I turn these other two off, it's still pretty bright. But if I turn off the first one, it's pretty cool. The other thing that I needed to do was, um, I have a birthday today. So I need to get all the stuff for that. Stash in my closet. They get a little tassel over their desk. They get a pair of birthday sunglasses. Beginning of the year, I wrote um, a card for them, so they get that. They get a birthday pencil, and then just a bag of talkies. 
I got all this at Walmart. Like the birthday sunglasses came in like a pack of 12. So I just got two of these. Same with the pencils came in a pack of 12. So I got two. I got two of these because I had a, like there was October and November. I had a lot of birthdays. So sometimes I had like two in one day. So that's why I got two of these so that I could, um, each person could have a tassel. There was one day that we celebrated three birthdays, which is crazy. But yeah, so I'm just gonna put this over their desk and put everything else on their desk as well. So it is now 6.32. I just heated up my little egg muffins. What I've been doing, instead of like heating them up at home and then eating them on the way or eating them at school once they're not warm anymore, is I just bring the whole container of them to school on Monday and then I'll just heat them up whenever I want them. And so if you're wondering what I put in there, I, I do some egg whites, one actual egg, and then the rest is egg whites. And then green peppers, red peppers, onion, and then turkey sausage and seasoning. And that's pretty much all I've been putting in them. And they're really good. They're really hot right now though, so I'm not gonna eat them right now. So I got everything done that I needed to do this morning. But this week is going to be a little crazy because I have meetings during my planning. Today I have my post-observation meeting, which I'm like <laughs> nervous about. She did her second walkthrough last week. And so this is like our final like observation meeting for the year. So I don't know, it's just terrifying. But I'm sure like it went fine. Like I'm just dramatic, I think. But... I think it'll be okay. And tomorrow I have an IEP meeting. And then on Wednesday, we have a training in the media center, which I don't remember what that is supposed to be on. But what I'm doing right now is just opening up um, the lesson plans for the week. I do that so that, because sometimes there's like links to things that we need on the lesson plans, like the quizzes or something like that, that I don't link in my slides. So, I like to have the lesson plans already open so if there is something I need to go to it's super quick and the kids aren't just sitting there staring at me waiting. As far as what we're doing today, the kids will go to the library this morning for science to check out new books. Then for reading, oh my gosh I forgot, we have our module 6 week 1 and 2 test um, which it's a really big test. It's really like to mimic FSA format. They take these like every two to four weeks like every two weeks i'd say they take one of these tests um and it's long and it's miserable and they hate them but i understand why they take them like it's trying to help build their stamina for fsa and they're hard they're really hard which is so discouraging for the kids because you know i really try to push the importance of them and you know reading the stories all the way through and taking our time but they're just really hard and like I just feel bad that they have to <laughs> sit through that and they get stressed out but yeah so we have one of those tests today and then for math today we're just doing quizzes and then i'm gonna end math a little early so that we can do our valentine's day stuff since we're doing the quizzes that should only take us till like 12 30 and then we can have like 30 minutes to pass out valentine's and then i'm also gonna pull up pete the cat because there's a pete the cat like valentine's thing and it's like 23 minutes so that will be like the perfect amount of time once they pass out their valentine's they'll get to like sit and we'll have snacks because i have kids bringing like cookies and um cupcakes and chips and all that kind of stuff so they'll get to eat their snacks and watch pete the cat and then we'll pack up at like one o'clock because we'll need a little bit extra time with our valentine's and i might be having my parent volunteer come today i don't know for sure if he's coming or not but yeah so i'm gonna go i hope you guys are having a great day i will let you know how my post observation meeting goes i'm very nervous about it but i think it'll be fine so we'll see so i just got off my meeting with my ap on my observation It went really well. <laughs> so we use the Danielson framework rubric thing for our like teacher evaluations. And so um, there's like four different domains and two and three are the ones that are like observed in the classroom when they come and watch. And so those are like the two she focuses on in these meetings because the other two are like professional responsibilities and then something else. I don't remember this exact time but 
those are the two that we went over and there were like I think two or three different categories within those two domains that I went from effective to highly effective so yay I was I don't know I was just nervous but my classroom environment that one as a whole went up to highly effective I don't know about any of the other ones I know they were already effective and two which is classroom environment went up to highly effective and then domain three I think is still out effective but I'm not for sure um but there were certain categories within that that went up to highly effective so that's awesome I'm gonna try and like lay out all of our valentine stuff real quick and then it'll probably be time to go because it's already like 10 46 so I have like 14 minutes before I have to go get the children so I'm gonna finish my coffee because I made another cup a little bit earlier and then also i made this while the kids were taking their tests it took me like less than five minutes but i thought that was very nice so made that to put up on wednesday because that's when we start fractions and i told the kids today when we wrap up fractions which will be the week before spring break that maybe we'll celebrate with pizza because i can make that fraction related so i'm thinking of doing that i think that's everything I'm gonna go so I can try and get all of this stuff organized. Also, look at this. I would've lost a, I lost a battle. My little boys came in this morning and gave me a flower. It's so sweet. Okay, y'all, hello. It is the afternoon. We had our Valentine's Day party and I am just like sitting here trying to like decompress from the craziness that that was um and i did have my parent volunteer here today so that was nice to have like another body to kind of like circulate but i was kind of stressed because it was like the first impression but well though what i'm doing right now is trying to just catch up on emails i got so many school emails like between lunch and the end of the day for some reason so i'm trying to like catch up on that and then i'm also going in and adding artifacts to boost up my evaluation score just because it's like fresh in my mind and I can do it now um and then I honestly might stay and edit a video just because I know I'll be so much more productive here than at home um so I think I'm gonna do that and so on my way home I want to stop at the Dollar Tree and get another picture frame um, because we got our class picture back and I want to go ahead and frame it because I told the kids like y'all better look good because I'm gonna put it in a picture frame This is my kids last year their picture obviously I can't show you it But I was just like comparing the two pictures. That's why I have this out But it usually stays on my bookshelf, but I want to go ahead and get another picture frame. Hopefully they have the same one This is like a wooden one and then I'll have both of my classes so far. So I'm gonna clean up my area because it's looking a little chaotic and then go ahead and head home and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. I just got to school um, like 10 minutes ago and I went ahead and filled their mailboxes with their homework, wrote our word of the day, got my little air purifier going, turned on the library lights, just like the little things that I like to get done like the second I get here so that I have time to, you know, sit here and like get everything else done. So what I'm going to do right now is put our class picture in our picture frame. I went to the Dollar Tree yesterday and they had the same picture frame that I got last year for my class picture. So I'm excited because it's the same one so I can put two of them out now so i'm just gonna open this up if i can get it open today we are working on mammals for science so yesterday we started mammals mammals is pretty easy because is this the right way because you know we are mammals and so we're just going to continue with that today and then um for reading we are starting module six week three so our story is like tj siberian cub something along those lines so we're gonna read that we will do our vocab our our skill is monitor and clarify and then we'll work on our writing and grammar so and introduce our spelling words this is the first day of the week 
So that is the plan for reading. And then I have an IEP meeting during my planning today, which will probably take up like the whole time. And then I, for math, we have a math test. So it's gonna be a pretty busy day. It's also a full moon, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it's like technically tomorrow or if it's today, but there is a full moon on the horizon. <laughs> And I'm scared. If you're a teacher, you know full moons. They're never good. Um, but I'm gonna go so I can film these little clips for this brand and then eat my breakfast and go to the bathroom because I already have to pee. Hello, friends. So it is very obviously the afternoon. I'm trying to set you guys up. Um, it's actually like almost three o'clock. It's like 2.53 right now. And I was going to stay and edit last week's vlog but I ended up doing a bunch of other stuff I don't even know what I did like after school my mind is just like gone today but the day went well for this afternoon I just had like a bunch of like little things like a couple grades to put in you did to check homework I needed to put up our fraction anchor chart and change our I can statement change our bark of the day all that kind of stuff so I did that um I also had to like do a return I'm so sad I ordered jeans from Abercrombie I've never had jeans from there before just because they're so expensive but they were having a sale like last week and so I finally like bit the bullet and was like okay I'm gonna order jeans I was so excited and I got the curve love dad jeans but i feel like the dad jeans like the way the pants fit on like the bottom half of your leg they were just weren't flattering like it wasn't like my mom jeans that i have for american eagle they're like a the mom jeans are a little more tighter like around your ankle and they weren't like baggy like a relaxed or straight leg jean I don't know it was like kind of in between those two so I feel like it just looked weird on me I don't know so I did a return for that and um the next time that they go on sale I will try again um but I'm not gonna order them right now because right now they're like 99 dollars and I just cannot bring myself to pay that much money for jeans so hopefully they'll do a sale soon and they also didn't really have my size because I have to get like the long length and they just did not have those. So I'm just gonna wait it out for the next time. But I had to like print off the like return label stuff for that. So I did that while I was here because I don't have a printer at home. That's basically it for this afternoon. <laughs> nothing crazy. I have nothing to show you guys. I feel bad. Um, I am gonna throw away these cookies though from our, from our Valentine's party yesterday. I was going to keep them and give them to whatever kid brought them, but I don't think she was here today. So I'm just going to toss them because I'm trying to eat gluten-free and definitely not gluten-free. I'm like learning the, what things have gluten because I honestly didn't realize like what gluten even is or like what kinds of foods have gluten in them, which is a lot of foods. Like last night, Max and I went to dinner at just like our favorite like wing place. Um, and I got a burger because I was trying to figure out what to get and I couldn't get anything like breaded. So I couldn't get like wings or fried shrimp or anything like that. And the grilled stuff, a lot of it came with rice, but I didn't know if it was like rice blends because a lot of rice blends have like some kind of barley or rye or something in them. And so I ended up getting a burger and just taking the bun off and eating the burger like that. And then I had fries, which I think fries are fine. I hope fries are fine because I've been eating fries a lot. But yeah, so it's like really interesting the amount of things I'm gluten in that I just had no idea. So yeah, that's definitely been a learning curve. I'm gonna go, but I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It's Wednesday. Um, This morning has been chaotic you could say at least i'm a little dramatic probably but what had happened was okay so wake up right at 4 30 right when my alarm goes off mainly because ko had to go to the bathroom and i wasn't trying to i wasn't trying to have to clean up an accident so i was like okay we're getting up like i was gonna sleep five more minutes but ko said no so that was fine i was like perfect i'm up 
right at my alarm. So for me, that's like kind of early because I've been kind of slacking with setting my alarm like for the regular time and I've been setting it like 10 minutes later. Yeah, whatever. So I got up at 4.30, which is like the goal time to get up. And so I was like, oh, this is so great. I'm gonna have this extra time. I'm gonna get to school early so I can edit my video that I want done. To, like I said, I wanted it to be done yesterday, but I literally only got like five minutes of it edited because I wanted to work out. And then I, my dad called me, so I was talking to him for a little while. And Max and I ate dinner. So it was just like, I didn't get a lot done yesterday so my goal like I have to get it done today because I have to send it off to be approved so yeah it was just didn't get a lot done yesterday so I was like I need to get to school early so I can get as much of it edited before school so that this afternoon when I get home I can finish editing it get it saved get it uploaded so I can get it approved like I like to have things sent by Thursday morning to be approved for like a Sunday upload if it makes sense because I don't want to be like that person that sends stuff last minute and then it doesn't get approved by Sunday which is my upload day so that's why I wanted to get to school early so I could have like 45 minutes to just work on my video before like my actual work day starts but that did not happen because Co went potty in the house and so I had started my coffee so I go to because I like to like let it sit for like a good five ten minutes after I make it so that it cools down and it's not super hot so I turn my coffee on and I go to clean up his accident and I come back from doing that and my coffee cup like I had it kind of tilted which I do this all the time I had it kind of tilted because it's a little tall so it doesn't go directly under the little like thing it was a little tilted but I do this every all the time like multiple times a week I do this and it's fine and for some reason it like tilted back up straight so it some of the coffee went in the cup and then the rest just brewed onto the counter and there was stuff all over the counter max had like his smoothie stopped like prepped for this morning his lunch box got soaked like the entire like i literally used like half a roll of paper towels to clean up this mess like it spread everywhere and oh it was just like i just had cleaned up because accident and he's been doing so good and not potting in the house and then he did so i was already annoyed with that and then this happened and it took me like 10 minutes to clean up and like 10 minutes in the morning is like a good chunk of my time and so that took forever so then my coffee wasn't made so i went to starbucks because i was like you know what like i'm not even gonna attempt to try this again like i am over it i am just going to go to starbucks and forget about this and I'm gonna be late to work now because I'm going to Starbucks and I spent so much time trying to clean up this mess. <sighs> so that was my morning and now it is 6.26 and I am um, just now getting here. I went ahead and turned on all the lights and turned my little air purifier on but I don't have anything like school related to this morning except I need to find a fraction video to play. I always start our math off with a, a video of some sort. Okay, yes, so Number Rock has, sorry if my computer screen is dirty, but this is the one I'm gonna do like for the first couple days and then once we get to them on a number line, which we'll do in this topic, I'll do that one. And then we will do equivalent fractions in our next topic, but we won't have to do like adding and subtracting fractions. So, um, yay, I'm excited. Hello friends, I feel like I have weird hair today and I don't know why. Even one of the kids was like, Ms. Stokes, what's wrong with your hair? And I was like, that kind of hurt my feelings, but I don't know, but oh my gosh. So I was just talking to the other third grade teacher cause she came in here for like 15 minutes and we were kind of planning out like a brief timeline of things we're doing in the next month. Like, cause on Monday, which is a teacher work day, I'm gonna plan all of science for March and into February or into April because the first week, like first full week of April, we have our first FSA, which is our state testing. We have reading FSA that week. And that is just crazy to me that like we have, I am about to plan all of March, which is like about to happen. And then it's FSA, like, and I remember last year, we were just reminiscing about last year, like close to the end of the year and the end goes by so fast like i feel like i remember we took fsa 
and then it was like the end of the year which is just crazy to me and i remember last year for reading i'm sure i have some vlogs on it probably but for the last like month of school we did fairy tales and like we did different fairy tales um not every day but like every few days we'd start a new fairy tale and we played multiplication bingo like all the time with them and it was just seriously like such a like happy time because even though last year was so awful for me like the end of the year i was in such a good mood because i knew i had like survived the worst year of my entire life and it was just like i just remember being so happy and it was warm outside the kids were in a good mood because it was close to the end of the year and i wore dresses and i had tan skin and it was just like ugh. i look back at that time and like i was so happy and so i'm just so excited to be i'm so happy right now but like i'm just looking forward to that again and it being warm and going to the beach and like ugh just so excited the winter is just not for me like i am just truly a, a florida girl and oh, i'm so excited you guys like it's just a great time and the fact that it's so close to already being here is insane that is that but it is now 10 55 so i have five minutes before specials are over so i need to go heat up my lunch this afternoon we have a training in the media center so i'm probably not gonna be able to talk to you guys then but I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, friends. My hair is a mess because um, it was really windy outside, but I literally just walked in. Um, I'm trying to finish this cup of coffee so I can go ahead and make my second one before the kids get here. And then like, I'll let it cool down for a little bit and then I can drink it this morning. Good morning, it's Thursday. I was so tired this morning, you guys. Like. I so okay I set my alarm for 4 30. most days I wake up by 4 35 like I'm out of bed by 4 35 4 40 is pushing it today I said mm, 4 52 yep that's good so I I wasn't really running late though because I knew I was gonna warm my hair up because it's just honestly so oily and disgusting so please ignore that. I knew I was gonna wear my hair up and I already had my outfit pick, picked out. And since Co has been doing so much better with like going potty outside, I don't have to spend like the first 15 minutes of my morning cleaning up the mess he created overnight. I still was ready by like 5.30 and left the house at like 5.35 and now it's like 6.22. So pretty on schedule I'd say. Um, but I'm yeah, I was super tired and it's probably because I stayed up a little late Because I have this issue Where I if I start a show which I usually don't watch shows like I'll watch the bachelor once a week Max and I were watching below deck but the season just ended for that But like I don't like binge watch show or like I don't watch a show on like Netflix or anything like that because when I do that I get crazy <laughs> like all I want to do is watch the show like I will put off all the responsibilities I have so I can watch the show and like finish watching the show and it's terrible it's ter it's a terrible trait because I don't get anything done I am super lazy because literally all I can think about is watching this show and so little old me thought yesterday day before yesterday that starting desperate housewives was gonna be a good thing i'm like oh it'd be a good like wind down show like if i go to bed at like seven watch an episode then do my like nightly uh reading and then i'll go to bed well see the issue is i got home yesterday and i had to edit that video i told you guys about and I spent mm, maybe five minutes editing it. And then I was like, you know what? I deserve to watch an episode. So then I went on the couch and you know what happens when you sit on the couch after a long day of teaching? You don't get up at all. <laughs> so I watched two episodes while stuffing my face with Skinny Pop. And then Max got home and I was like, wow, I have done nothing and I've been so unproductive the last two hours. So I edited the video, I just sat there and knocked it out and then I was like, well, I just earned myself another episode so I watched another one. And it's just, and then I watched one before I went to bed and this morning I thought about listening to one on my way to work and I was like, Bailey, no, you have to stop. 
<laughs> so I also rejoined Hulu um, solely so I could watch this show. Like I thought it was free on Amazon Prime. So I started watching it and after the third episode, it was like, okay, now you need Hulu to watch the rest. And I was like, are you kidding me? But I know they do that so they can hook you in make you pay but I still get a student discount to seven grad school so it's only two dollars a month right now which is it makes me mad because I was paying five something for my Hulu membership the last like year and I could have been getting it for two dollars so whatever but it's two dollars and I should be done with all eight seasons by this rate in a month so I don't know my outfit today this sweater is from Target from like last year I believe and then I'm wearing these green joggers from Zaffle and then these are new shoes I got from Nasty Gal they're already gross um but they're like platform sneakers and I really like them so that is the fit I'm gonna go and I'll see y'all during planning hello friends it's planning time ouch I am so tired like I thought by now I would be awake but I'm not. Um, literally, there was one point today where I was just like so, there was so much just like the kids asking questions and I just was like, I just need to sit here in silence and not have to respond to anyone for like five minutes because it was just like too much <laughs> going on. But a couple things that I did, one of my kids is going to be out all of next week, so... I made him just like a little packet of stuff that he can do. What I'm gonna do now is I printed off data notebook stuff. Um, so this is what it looks like. I got this off TBT, just type in data notebook and it should come up. It's the emoji one. Oh no, I think I messed this up. No, I didn't, okay. So I do three of these per kit because we have like a lot of math tests. So they need two pages of this for that. I might have done two for each subject, I don't remember, but yeah so they each get that and then i also printed off this one which we did like after each quarter just kind of a like goal setting sheet so i print off one of those for each kit so i'm just gonna put these into their folders for the my new ones or actually i think i only need to do one or two of them i don't remember i just printed off i just printed off a bunch of copies so what whoever i needed to add one where I could so I'm going to do that during planning and then I also wanted to fill in my planner for next week because I think I started to last week but I didn't finish so that's the other thing I want to get done okay so I ended up riding next week as well as this is the week after but yeah so next week's pretty empty just because it's like our like kind of like a bye week in ELA like they're just working on um an assessment performance task and one day this was an accident because we have a teacher work day but yeah pretty boring <sighs> hello good morning happy Friday I am so excited that it is Friday I this week has been a little like longer feeling than the last few weeks have been i've just been so tired and honestly i think it's because i haven't been riding the peloton as much this week and it's like a terrible cycle because i know if i consistently ride i have more energy but it's like i need that energy to have the of like want to ride you know and so it's just been a bad cycle lately. I really need to get into a better routine with it. I was doing so well up until literally like this week. Um, I just have not been consistent with it, but I'm going to try and this weekend kind of get back on the grind. I have nothing really to do this weekend. What I'm gonna do, I haven't even like turned on the library lights or anything like that. So I'm gonna go around and do my little morning tasks and then I need to finish our data notebooks. I know I said I was gonna do that yesterday and I just was ready to go. So I'm going to finish the data notebooks and then I wrote out, um, cause on Fridays there's just a lot of things that have to be checked off. Like the kids have to have 50 minutes in um, I Ready Reading and I Ready Math, which is just a learning program that we use. Um, and so they have to have their minutes done by Friday. And so that's something that like we end up using like quite a bit of our time on Fridays, especially like if a kid was absent, they have more minutes to make up, you know, 
so what i'm gonna do is just literally write on the board like who needs to do what so that during centers during reading centers they can see like what things they need to get done and who needs to get what done um it's just helpful for all of us to be able to like have a visual because they'll forget or they'll think they have their minutes or they'll tell me they have their minutes when they actually don't so last night or not last night yesterday afternoon i wrote out who still needed to do what so i'm just going to write that on the board science we're going to be working very quickly because i wanted us to do this whole flip book today and so this is just a book on arthropods so it talks about arachnids insects and crustaceans so that is what we're going to do during science today and then we are going to continue working on our grammar packets for the week and then um that'll be during ela then we're going to work on our writing that we've been working on and um i'm just going to do reading centers like normal we're going to do a practice spelling test i always like to do a practice spelling test the day before our actual spelling test and that will be tuesday when they come back because we have a teacher work day on monday so i'm gonna do a practice spelling test today we'll go over our vocab words um all that jazz so and then for math today obviously on fractions yesterday was fractions and regions so today is understanding the whole basically just understanding that three thirds is one and two halves is one and that kind of thing and then they'll also kind of be introduced to the number line a little bit today so that is that they did pretty well yesterday yesterday wasn't as um like successful i guess as the first day of fractions because the first day was like very basic fraction stuff and then yesterday it got a little bit harder so um but they are still really enjoying fractions thank goodness so just more fractions today and then my student teacher will be here and i really want to do math centers because i really want my student teacher who comes on fridays i really want her to start doing a math group and she wants to as well and so usually on fridays like we would end math like 20 minutes early to do fun friday but i don't want like her to just be here for fun friday you know like i want her time to be productive so i think maybe we'll just do fun friday during recess and then um we'll just do a regular math time so we'll see but i'm gonna go so i can kind of get some things done because i have about 15 minutes until the kids get here and now my finger is bleeding for some reason so i'm gonna go and i will talk to you guys after school real quick before i go i want to show you guys what i think i'm gonna have her do um for a math group today so i'm gonna have her just get one of these and she'll have a group and i'll probably pull my ones that are struggling more with the fractions to do it with her but she will just have the cards and she will show like the picture and then they will have their whiteboards and they will have to write what they think the fraction is and then whoever gets it first they'll get the card and then whoever has the most cards at the end wins so and then maybe i'll let them like play for a dojo or a lollipop or something hello friends so i know i'm in completely different clothes it's a completely different day actually but i never got the chance to close out the vlog last week so i just wanted to come on here and kind of wrap things up we had a good afternoon on friday and my student teacher was able to run her own little small group game so that went really well but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and don't forget that if you want to check out back life i will have all their links down below as well as my discount code right here and in the description if you guys are interested but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and i'll see you in my next one bye